Hello my friends, this is Jonesy Boy here and welcome to Electric, where I bring you electronics for electronics freaks. Today, we're talking about the ANET A6 3D printer. Now, full disclosure on this, Gearbest did contact me to ask me to do a review of the ANET A6 3D printer. So I did not purchase this printer on my own, they sent it to me to review it. With all that aside, let's start out with a time lapse of the build of the ANA A6 3D printer. The total build time of the ANA A6 3D printer was two hours. The instructions for the build process were included on the micro SD card that came with the printer. The ANA A6 3D printer has a price tag of $222 US. And as I understand, it's supposed to be the version 2 of the ANET A8 printer with slightly better software and a little bit different type of a configuration. If you find that you're interested in purchasing this printer after seeing this video, please make sure to see the link in the description below. If you purchase it from this link, I will get a little bit of a kickback and it will help out the channel. I found the assembly of the ANA A6 3D printer to be fairly easy. The only problem that I see is that some of the parts seem sort of fragile. I would not recommend over tightening any of the screws. I was able to print some pretty nice configuration and torture test objects with the ANA A6 3D printer. I know that I need to modify some of the settings on the ANA A6 to be able to print these a little bit better. Some of the issues you can see with this printer is that the power supply and mainboard both have exposed wires. For some of these torture test objects, I'm thinking that I printed them with a little bit too high of a temperature setting. That's most likely what causes a stringing issue that you can see with the bridging test. You can see here with the lattice cube that I had a lot of the same issues that I had with the bridging test. A lot of clumping as well as stringing issues. Again, this was most likely caused by too high of a temperature setting for the extruder. Despite the temperature settings, the overhang tested pretty well. I decided to print my first Benchy boat on the ANET A6 3D printer, and I think it came out looking fantastic. Here we have the menu system. In here we have prepare, under prepare we have preheat PLA and preheat ABS. Under position you're able to move the different axes of the printer. If you select move 0.1 millimeters, you can move all axes, including extruder, Z axis, X and Y. You can do the same under one millimeter, but under 10 millimeter, you only have access to X and Y positions. You can also auto home from there. If you go under control, you can control the temperature, the motions, different settings for the PID sensors and so on. I'm unsure what store memory and load memory do exactly. I have not had the time to test those. Configuration, we have similar settings. So I have not used the configuration menu. So I'm not entirely sure what all the settings do as of yet. Under print from SD, we, also, we have all the print files located on my SD card. You can also hit refresh. This is a lot nicer than having to unmount and remount the SD card similar to the ANET A8 would. In here we have the version information and that's it. All in all, I really do enjoy the ANET A6 3D printer. I'll have to do some 3D printed upgrade videos for it in the future, as well as do a comparison video for, between the ANET A8 and the ANET A6 printer. 
I hope you enjoyed this video on the ANET A6 3D printer review. Please make sure to make a comment down below if there's anything that I may have missed about the ANET A6 3D printer. Also, make a comment down below if you have any suggestions for things that I should 3D print in the future or other content suggestions. If you're interested in seeing another video that I've created, make sure to click the link right here. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Also, join the notification squad and hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.